wide variety of diseases that oculoplastic surgeons treat. And what I really love about what I do is the wide variety of problems we can help patients with. We can do these surgically and non-surgically. One of the most common things that we deal with is aging changes around the eyelid. This can be from droopy brows, droopy eyelids, or excess skin on the upper lid or the lower lid, as well as fat in the upper and lower lid. And we can deal with these both surgically and non-surgically. There are a lot of things we can do like botulinum toxin, you've probably heard of Botox or Dysport or Xeomin, and these are toxins we can use around the face that help with some of the aging changes. We can also do lasers and fillers that can help rejuvenate the tissue around the eyes and around the face. We can do surgery, and that can also be for a functional reason. So sometimes patients don't realize that they have decreased peripheral vision because that heavy skin or heavy brow or droopy eyelid can actually affect the peripheral vision. And in those cases, we do surgery for functional reasons. But a lot of patients come to me for cosmetic reasons where the, the skin is not actually affecting their vision, but it's bothersome to the patient and they want a rejuvenation. We also treat eyelid malpositions and sometimes the lower or upper lid can be in the wrong place and this is really important to treat because it can affect the surface of the eye. So the eye can turn in, the lower eyelid can turn out or the lower eyelid can turn in and that can be very irritating to the surface of the eye. We treat tearing problems that can be because of the eyelid malpositions or they can also be because of a blocked tear duct and we can treat these surgically as well. In South Florida, we do a lot of Mohs reconstruction, and Mohs reconstruction is for skin cancer that can actually affect the eyelid. A lot of people don't realize that it can affect the eyelid, but it can. And it's very, very important to have someone who understands the complex anatomy of the eyelid in terms of reconstructing the surface. We also deal with orbital tumors and inflammation of the orbit, and sometimes these require surgical procedures, and sometimes they require medical therapy. And then we also deal with fractures and trauma around the eye. We do reconstruction, as I mentioned, for skin cancers, but also for trauma. And sometimes we do reconstruction for patients that have had previous surgery, whether facelifts or eyelid surgery, and have problems closing their eyes or other problems related to that surgery. Well, there are a lot of different surgeries we do just as we treat a wide variety of diseases. And I think the most common thing that I do is called a blepharoplasty. And this is removal of the skin and the fat and sometimes the muscle from the upper or lower eyelid. We also do surgery for droopy brows or droopy eyelids or sometimes for the eyelid malpositions that affect the lower eyelid. Since skin cancer can actually affect the eyelid, we also do surgical reconstruction of the eyelid tissue when skin cancer affects this area. We work with most surgeons, they take off the skin cancer and then we reconstruct this tissue. And it's really, really important that we do the reconstruction because the eyelid tissue is quite unique and it serves a very critical role of protecting the eye. And so we work to preserve that function as well as to preserve cosmesis. This is part of the art of what we do. We want it to look very good with minimal scarring, but we also want to make sure that that eyelid is working to protect the eye.